Okay, let's see if we can uh, create a driver using Blender. I'm pretty new, so uh, we will see if I arrive to do it. What I want to cover is a um, driver that will have an offset and a um, multiplication value. So you will, you will uh, drive one channel by another one using an offset and a multiplication factor. This way you cover a lot of, of problem you can have with drivers. It's always the same, the same song. You always need, most of the time you need an offset or no offset, but a, a multiplication factor. You will see what it is. So I hit three, and then, oh, no, no need. Uh, let's go to the right, right uh, layout. We need to, to do such a kind of thing. Then I just here adjust a bit the layout and I choose the graph editor and I choose the driver. So this is properly set for what we have to do here. I will also choose the right perspective, uh, no perspective orthographic. So it's uh, hit uh, dot on the numpad, then three and then five to switch from perspective to orthographic. So I prefer to work in orthographic. And then shift A for armature, single bone. And then hit the, the dot on the numpad or comma on the numpad. Then I can see the bone. And then shift D to duplicate the bone. And mid middle mouse button to uh, constraint to um, one axis okay so I constraint here to the y axis then I want now to change the name of this bone look here it's named armature control click here and then I change to master right and then I click uh, I, I control click here and I change the name of this to slave then i want also to put it in pose mode pose mode and then hit n here so i can have the this panel and um, and then i click here so i can have the i can have the channels so i want to use the x the z y x uh, earlier and same here um, then I, I will choose this this rotation to influence this rotation. So the driver should be put should be applied to the channel you wanna you wanna drive, and then you add single driver. See, you have the driver here. So you need to have, to have enough space here for the for the channel box. For I know I name it this way because I'm a Maya Maya user soon only blender user so we display this panel here and um, we click we choose the the driver we want to work on so when i choose this driver so now i'm in the slave bone and i can see uh, that it's really the slave and i choose here to the driver no need this window no need this window and then on this this tab or whatever um, so I just need the driver one so I choose average value and then I add a variable and this variable will be instead of single property a transform channel and then I will choose the master as you see already we have we have an influence so I guess not yet the right value uh, because it's location and local space so uh, and, and local space then we choose the bone now it start to be better but still not it's local space the bone and then we choose the x rotation so it should work right now so you see i drive the rotation of the slave using the master but that's just the beginning of the story I may want that, I may say that this rotation uh, actually here 
is uh, too big for the slave. I want a, I want less rotation to this applied to the slave than the rotation I have to the with the with the master. So here it's this number here. You see there is a, a generator, and then I just change it to 0.5, and then let's see what happened. I choose rotation, and if I make if I uh, uh, rotate 360 degree, the slave has only 180 degree. So that's one one of the first adjustment you want to do. But also, let's go back to one here. I may want to have uh, <coughs> a first offset. I want that the slave is first at 90 degree uh, compared to the to the master. And here it's a bit tricky because I didn't find how to have this value in degree. It seems it's in gradient. So it's uh, a gradient is um, 90 degree is half of pi. So pi is 3.1415, something like that. And then I just divide it, divide by 2. And then if I um, update, you see, I, I will start with an offset of 90 degree. OK? See? It's the same rotation, but with an offset. So it can save your, your, your life for, for different situation. And also now, I just want to add that I have both in the same time. I have start with a 90 degree offset, and then I just rotate half. You see, if I am here, I go to here, I rotate half. So, of course, you can adjust the way you want, but with this way, you can you can you can make can produce a lot of a lot of things, and it's very nice that you can you can do calculation directly here. Uh, let's see you later with another simple tutorial like this.